Hi, this is Dell3524 here, and today we're going to be doing a review of the Dell Latitude E6500. Okay, so on the right side we have the DVD recordable multi-recorder drive, re Wi-Fi switch, 1394 Firewire port, headphone jack, microphone port, and two USB 2.0s. On the back you have a 56K modem port, 10x100x1000 by by gigabit Ethernet port, and here's the battery. And then this also has a display port and the charging port. And on the other side we have a USB slash USB charging port with a USB plus eSATA port. VGA port and here's the fan grill and then the hard drive with a SD card slot on the side of the laptop as well. So this laptop is pretty much like the rest of the E series. It has the brushed aluminum look. This is the earlier models from, this would look similar to the E6400, 6410, the 55s, the 43s, well, another one, I think I've done videos on almost all of those. This laptop does have stereo speakers and a standard Dell keyboard, which is pretty much on all the Dell attitudes. Uh, there is an optional backlit keyboard that this does not have, and your standard trackpad with optional of the second pointer. Also, there is an optional webcam for this model, which I did not get on this one. Okay, so this computer currently has 8GB of memory install. It is DDR2. Um, the max size this computer will take is 8GB per DIMM slot. There are two DIMM slots. The processor is a Intel Core 2 Duo P8600 at 2.4GHz. The fastest processor available for this laptop at the time was a T9900, which was a base frequency of 2.8 with 6 megs of level 2 cache. This laptop currently has a 80 gig Intel SSD 320 series in it. It has the Intel GMA45 graphics, which NVIDIA graphics were also available. It was the NVIDIA Quadro NVS. 160M1, which is 256 megabytes of DDR3 shared memory. Uh, the screen size is 15.4 inches wide. XGA native resolution was 1280 by 800. There's also a 15.4 premium WXGA Plus, which is 1440 by 900. There's also a premium ultra sharp WU. XGA, which is a 1920 by 1200 resolution with high brightness. And then it just has the standard Intel wireless. This laptop also has a couple more options. You can also have Bluetooth and then a cellular chip in it if you are running on a carrier network. So now we're going to boot it up into Windows. It is currently windy, running Windows 10 Pro. I believe it is the anniversary update. I'm not sure. I did update it, but I'm not sure which one it was. And I'm not sure if everyone does know, but I usually end up selling these laptops pretty quickly after I do these videos. Um, if you are interested in buying um, this one, uh, send me a message or a comment on YouTube, and I can give you the link for it. Um, I'm not sure when it's going to be up. Probably be a couple days, but if you are interested, just leave a link. And if there's any other comments, questions, leave them down below. And this has been the review of the Dell Latitude E6500.